Debugging BVE is difficult for many players to wrap their heads around, but it's actually a few patterns and most importantly, staying calm. The first place you usually head to is Oasia, where you will be greeted by your first enemies. The humanoid mobs like the bandits and mud skivers, which are all Barry and Emo. You might encounter your first monster, the Sharko. The Sharko has two attacks that could do to you from a distance. The Sharko will either do its beam attack, which can be blocked or buried. The Sharko has two attacks, swing and kick, and three patterns. The Sharko will either swing once and stop, or swing twice, or swing once, then kick. You have to dodge the kick, and you can usually get two or three hits after each battle. Or it will scream, which increases position damage and gives you sanity, which you can block. If you continue moving up Eurasia, you may end up in Upper Eurasia, where you will find the Stone Golem and Turtle. The Stone Golem has 4 attacks. It can crush with its leg or arm, which are both variable. It can do a similar uppercut attack to the Sharko, which is all dodgeable. It has a beam attack with a wind up, which is all dodgeable. And it has a spin attack, which you can spam if or run away. I recommend you to run away. The turtle has one attack, which is its rapid swing. You can time your berries or just run away using hit when it stops. Cross the sea, we are at Mentoristia. Mentoristia isn't a good place to farm in, but it has a special event and a very good ancient farm. You can find randomly spawning events like the Ice Meg and the Necromancer. The Necromancer will use Shadow Martyrs and might summon Mud Skewers to attack you. In this state, you have to kill the Mud Skewer before you can continue attacking the Necromancer. So the Necromancer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. <laughs> uh. Ice Meg will use Ice Mantras on you, which is just a berry and attack better. If you go up the glacier, you will be greeted by an event which is within the same place, the Ice Meg. The Ice Meg has a very bad animation, but you can M1 and dodge if you want to fight it legit. The better method is to cheese it. The cheese makes it so he can't hit you except for his slam attack, which can you still have to dodge or berry. Killing the mech and the public servers is one of the best methods for farming gear and ancients. If you go to the valley of heroes, you will find an event which can all be done in winter. If you go to any other season, you will be greeted by Alita. We will challenge you to a game and if you win, you get chest which can contain ruby coats or a furniture's ring. The blizzard knights event is decently difficult to use bonnet by going in the center then you have to run out of the valley, log or else. They will agree you, you can rejoin to fight the six knights one by one, they have four attacks, the wind blade which is only done if you are far from it, you know, the ground stone which hits you, the miller up which is done both when you close or distance, you have to dodge this attack while moving so you can roll cancel, can swing at you either once or twice or it can kick you like a shark, the method to killing the knights is to always dodge every attack and bury the second the swing of the sword attack. Song Seeker is one of the best places for farming XP due to events being you all in the same location so you can beat an event in the hop servers or just wait your all from night MCs that use the two minutes. You have to remain calm and very trade with these guys, but be careful cause they deal a lot of damage. There is also a really rare event which is monster charcoal. It's just the same as normal charcoal but stronger and summons fire. It has a chance to drop the first light heavy weapon. Hive. Hive is usually the method to end the game place for grinding MCs and gear. It's also the biggest and has the strongest clusters in the overworld. At first, we have the Thresher, which can swarm randomly alone or in groups, three and six place events. Uh, Thresher has three attacks, swipe twice with clouds, bite three times, roar underground, and attack. The war attack is all dodgeable, and you have to dodge when the two flashing red lights appear. In Hive, you can also see a Legion Physiology event, very trade, and if you want to get the Legion Catafighting, 
style you have to kill the desert guy first he didn't talk to the legion guy bring sakar the car randomly spawn on top of a player this guys you can just as well hit them since they are really squishy i also has its own mech which is the same as the main tracer mech the event will be the mech for the desert guy and in hive there is also cheese for the mech If you continue through hive, you can find the widow even, which is one of the best places for farming enchant since you can kill it in observers. It has a swing attack, a bite attack, and a wheel attack, which pulls you towards getting hit by the widow, gives you insanity. There is a cheese for the widow. If you want a video on how to kill every mob in the dips, tell me in the comments. Doof will help me in this video. That's all for today. I like, subscribe for my channel. I got really good effort in this video. And that's why I paid. <laughs> anyway, see you in the next video. Bye bye.